everyone, this is David01, and back with a kind of different video from the previous Mini City episodes. This is sort of a Mini City episode. Um, today is going to be a fairly short tutorial on how to build a basic auto train with only three logic gates and a timer and some sensors. You actually don't even need all three, um, but it's easier, and a switch and some stuff. So, there's going to be no time lapse in this, it's going to be all very easy to follow and step by step. So first of all, you're going to want to get your train. So we can go and use either, we could build a new train or we could use a previous train. I'm going to use a train I've made before, but a simple one. So let me spawn that in. All right, my little 7U shunter here. This is, this is good. Um, so give me the horn and things. But this just isn't, this isn't right. You know, why have it be like this when they can have it be automated? So, the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to make this a little clear and easy, so to do that, I'm gonna just going to cut off part of this here in the back. So you can really easily see everything I'm doing. Alright, there we go. Delete these. Okay, now, we're going to start off by making little cutouts on the side here for the sensors. So you're going to want to set the range to something like, I'd say, I, th I think 10 or so works pretty well. Because if it's too long, then it could reach um, stops on the other side, which you don't want. But if it's too short, then it won't actually be able to reach stops sooner, because it'll slow down the train. If it gets, or it'll just it'll not be able to reach anything. So... I'm gonna say I set to the darkest red because it's a fairly uncommon color for buildings. Remember, you don't want to set something like gray. Never use grays or um, browns or anything because those are very common building materials, and so it could stop at anything. Next thing, this is the single most important part. You have to set these to switch. If they're not set to switch mode, it will not work. This is what makes this so simple. Now in the back here, we're going to place down three logic gates. And you can have these in any order you want. I'm just going to place them here so you can see easily. And a timer. We're also going to go and completely gut out everything in here. Oops. We're going to have this one. We can do that. And we're going to set all these to XOR. Now, the first step is simple. Connect each of the sensors, however many sensors you have, connect those into an XOR gate. This is so that way, just if both of them are, um, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't freak out if both of them are connected, or both of them are on. Now, here's what we're going to want to do next. So you're going to want to connect this logic gate here. That's this painting. This is the green, no, this is the red input logic gate. This is the green output logic gate, and this is the yellow kind of decider logic gate. So this is the kind of phases. So you're going to connect this into this logic gate and into the timer. Now this is how long the train is going to stop for. In this case, we're going to pick 10 seconds. It's an easy to demo time. Then we're going to connect that into the yellow one. Make sure the path goes like this. And again, make sure the arrows flow the correct way. Connect the yellow logic gate into the green one here. And connect this switch, which we'll need a switch. Um, so right there, into there as well. Now you can also, if you want to make sure this is a, if it doesn't, if there's a one that if you want to make it a little more complex, you can put this like, the blue one here. Have it be this and this. And then we just connect it up into that train there. So we press the switch. The train starts moving. And it's great. Now. If we were to go and set up a little wall right here, and it's going to be painted the darkest red. Whoops. <clears throat> this should now stop for 15 seconds. Or 10 seconds, sorry. So now it's it's basic, uh, and then it'll continue again. And it will it can continue to keep stopping. Sorry, now if it's one continuous wall, it'll just view that as one thing. So you have to have a separation there uh, between stops. So it won't just continue stopping on the wall, which is good. 
Um, now, without this system, if you were to turn it off, turn the switch off while it was stopped, it would continue going for the remainder of its stop time. Uh, this logic, this fourth logic right here, um, will mitigate that. You can just use three if you want. Um, but the fourth logic gate makes it a little bit more reliable. So there you go. You've built a auto train with just four logic gates, a switch, one or two sensors. You don't need both of them. It just makes it a little more versatile. And a switch. And the engine and the rest of the train. But just that, that's all the logic. This right here. There are certainly much more advanced auto trains. I came up with that myself. It took a while, though. But, um... It works. Alright. Well. That's all for today's very short video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a little thing. I might make a couple other logic tutorials. Um, you can you can easily see how this is. Uh, you can then configure it up so these hook into different things. Um, that's, that's really all there is to it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. The next mini city episode, I'm I can't make any guarantees as to when it'll be out. It, it could be out within like one or two days. It could be out within a week or so. I don't know. I have a lot of community submissions. I have a lot of stuff I could do, but it's gonna be difficult to cram it into one episode. So I'll see. That might mean maybe the time lapse gets compromised. I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye!